Hello and welcome to this session about the pervasive analytics enhancements for SAP Business 191 version for SAP HANA. With SAP Business 191 version for SAP HANA, the pervasive analytics designer has been enhanced. There is now the ability to relate business actions to pervasive dashboards and KPIs. The available action types are open SAP B1 window to open B1 forms, such as master data, then trigger enterprise search to open up the enterprise search, searching for related data, then to link the business one window to show a dashboard in the sidebar. This is also available since 882 for SAP HANA. And then also very new here is the open advanced dashboard feature, which I will explain more in the next slide. With this innovative enhancements, it's now possible to drill down into business details and translate insights to actions. The advanced dashboard approach gives the ability to create supplementary dashboards to display related data for pervasive dashboards or KPI widgets. By adding filters, the dedicated dashboards and KPIs get broken down to the related data of the initiating source. So this means that if I click on my cockpit with the right mouse click on a dashboard and in there on a specified customer, then an advanced dashboard can be opened then this specific customer will be passed through the filter of the advanced dashboard so that this advanced dashboard will only show the dashboards in relation to that specific customer. And that's what I want to show you in the demo. So in here in the new cockpit of SAP Business 191 version for SAP HANA, I have prepared a little scenario so we have here a top five customers by receivable overdue dashboard, which comes predefined out of the box. And I added some actions to this predefined widget. So I can do, for example, here a right click on parameter technology and say, open the business partner master data. I can see now the business partner master data, including also some attached analytics like the top five items. I can do another right click here and now search for the business partner code. And yes, you can see the enterprise search opens and search for the business partner code. I can also start another search for the business partner name. And I also defined here a fourth action to open a customer monitor. So this time, an advanced dashboard is opening. And you can see here in this so-called customer monitor, the top five items in a sales category, and these are only reflecting parameter technology. And also the sales by month dashboard reflects only the data in relation to the customer parameter technology. You can see this also here if you look at the filters. You can see that one filter is already applied and this is parameter technology. So we can also uncheck this and you can see the data is changing immediately. All right, so um, that's the customer monitor I've created. I can also see the activities and also the services. Everything I predefined in this advanced dashboard is now in relation to this customer. And from here, I can, for example, click on, the, on this dashboard and do another insight to action and open, for example, the item master data of this item. Or I can open, for example, the item monitor, which is another advanced dashboard I have created. And in here, you can now see the item in focus in relation to these dashboards. Now you can see the sales by month and the top five customers of this item. You can also see here in the services tab, the service contracts by the customers for this item and also the service calls in relation to this item. You can also use sometimes the same dashboard for different advanced dashboards and just reassign the filtering. That's what I want to show you. So if I click here on the filter settings, I can see now that this 
advanced dashboard is filtering for the item code, which it get passed through from the, another, from the other advanced dashboard where we do, did a right click on the item code and pass this item code to this item monitor. So all of these dashboards are looking for the item code. I can also use the item description to filter in addition. If I look at the customer monitor, you can also see here that these dashboards are looking for the card code. Some of the dashboards have a different naming, so you need to find the correct dimension which reflects the, the business partner code. I also would like to show you the Pervasive Analytics Designer, how this is all made up. So as you remember, I showed you a demo based on the top five customers by receivable overdue. So if I look inside, you can see here that I defined five actions. So I open the business one, master data with the right mouse click. So I choose the action open business one window and assigned one of the values from the dashboard to the BP code value inside the business partner master data. I also did this for the enterprise search and also for another enterprise search. You may ask where did I know what is uh, the 115 and 116 value coming from. So if I take a quick look here, there's an easy way, just click on filter and then you can drag it in here and you can see all the output of this value. So the 115 was the business partner code and the 116 is the customer name. And I also have the sidebar linked. So I linked it to a sales order. So if I open the sales order, this dashboard will be shown on the right. Also there I linked the customer code to the 115. And in the last action here defined, I open an advanced dashboard called customer monitor. And I assign the one on five to the filter inside the advanced dashboard called BP code. All right, so thank you for watching this session about SAP Business One and the pervasive analytics enhancements. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.